Hi there. So you are? I'm Dylan from Quality Beast, and this is Andy. So, uh, and what are you doing here? Who you are? What are you promoting? Well, we have our Quality Beast booth. We're an independent publisher from Berlin, and we're showing off two games. One of which is Seize the Bean. See, si. cool. And Andy and I are the co-designers on this game. Yeah. So, uh, what's this game about? How does it work? This game is about Berlin, a uh, city that we come from, uh, yeah. which we love very much. And it's about coffee. Uh, so we're drinking a lot of coffee at the booth. I like coffee. Uh, it's a little bit more about people than it is about actually a, the drink. Yeah. Um, in that uh, we wanted to show the diversity of Berlin by showing a variety of different uh, comical archetypes, um, different groups of customers, rebellious people, uh, party people, performers, tourists, musicians, capturing the, the vibrant nature of the city. And we did that by uh, turning it into a deck builder. Oh, I see. And during the course of the game, you're going to be building a deck in order to try to get the most good reviews for your cafe. Okay. You're a pretentious barista, and you think you can run a cafe better than your boss, so you quit your job to open your own cafe. So you're kind of fighting, fighting Yelp or... or yeah, exactly. TripAdvisor, yeah, yeah. And to get good reviews, you will be trying to impress the customers during the game with certain combos, what you serve them, your yeah. decorations, and you'll also be getting points at the end of the game for how many of each type of customer you have, basic set collection. Okay. So, but let's go deeper into the mechanics. Okay. Well, you have a shop board in front of you, which has a very simple um, action selection each turn. Two things that are interesting about this is that you're going to be drawing customers out of your customer deck into your line at the end of your turn after you've taken your actions. Your actions allow you to do things like get resources, such as beans and milk, cool. as well as get upgrades for your shop. And all of these things will help you better serve your customers. But you're taking those actions before you know who's coming to your shop. So there's a little bit of push your luck, a little bit of thinking ahead, yeah. um, kind of risking it. Andy typically play tests by getting tons of resources and playing it safe, and I typically play test by cutting it right to the edge. Let's see. It's half and half of who wins, so pretty good balance. Right. Yeah. I don't know if, if the viewers hear it well, but then you need to talk into the mic. Oh, right. So Andy said it's about half and half the balance between which kind of strategy works. Oh, cool, cool. Maybe, maybe they heard, maybe it's good. So, um, all right, so this game is done, or is it in developments? Uh, we've been developing far? for uh, about a year, and we wanted the core rules to be really streamlined and simple, and have the depth come through in the effects of the customers. So the core rules are very stable, we're quite happy with them, they're testing well, uh, playtesters have said it plays clean, uh, easy to understand. Spielkult described it as a Kenner Spiel. Um, I see. Well, you know, which means like a very familiar game. Yes. Uh, right now, what we're still not 100% done with, uh, of course, is the graphic design and layout. Uh, we're learning each time we play test uh, what we need to do to update that. And also, the game is pod based, meaning right now in this game, there are six types of customers so that it's not overwhelming. And each of those customer types is 10, 10 of. Uh, 10 of a customer in a pod, but the box would come with more than six so that you could configure the type of game you want to play. Uh, there are some take that pods, but if you don't like that, you can remove them. To kind of customize the experience for different groups of people and aiming to, to please uh, a big variety of, of uh, let's say, I call them, some of them are care, care bears, it's the Rados word there, and some of them like the cutthroats. Exactly deck building where they can destroy stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Exactly, and that's maybe the other unique aspect of the game, that you don't have a hand of cards. Instead, you have sort of an open hand that's your line, and as you serve customers, you automatically receive their effect, whether you like it or not. And we've been trying to design effects that have a duality. So, um, hipsters, what happens is that when a hipster's This is in, Dylan's favorite group, by the way. <laughs> I do like hipsters, but I'm not one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hipsters, what they do is that when you serve them, they make you draw another customer from your deck into your line. They make you. They, they create this yeah. pipe. So that's, that's good because you get good reviews and points from the customers, but that's bad because it's a resource management game. And if you draw another hipster, serve it, and another hipster, you, know, you can quickly yeah, yeah, yeah. start getting bad reviews. So 
we try to design these mechanics that have this duality and, and are sometimes good and sometimes bad, and we find that that leads it to be more of a management game than just a get everything game. All right, cool. So, and you have some, I see some of the components are beans there. Right, so some of the things that people have God, liked the most have here. been the game's chrome. And we are handcrafting all of our components in Berlin by ourselves, including the cards, player boards, tokens, Look at those beans. and the components. The, the, the beans. video game will be made. Look, it's like real right. coffee. Right, Andy's saying that we won't be hand And this is kind of like real milk, kind of. So these are 3D printed Tiny milk cartons. These are 3D printed beans. And we do have some 3D printed sugar cubes as well that are used to serve snacks. Yep. Which we've been let told me, look very let real. Me concentrate on that. And uh, these are just uh, oh. test test components uh, for the action selection, so okay. you can ignore those. But we also have this is a crowd favorite. We have the good and bad reviews, which actually have uh, funny little statements on them. Oh, I see. Cool. Got it. And uh, we have been talking to manufacturers. Uh, the reason why we're going to Kickstarter is that play testers mostly love these components. Uh, we even have a kind of silly scooping mechanism where you get a small variable amount oh, of you beans. Get, okay. Instead of always six, you get maybe four to seven. It's not a huge aspect of the game, but it's fun. And the manufacturers have told us that, you know, in order to produce this version of the game, you know, with, instead of cardboard tokens, we're gonna need a critical mass of backers. So if you like the game, if you like these components, Please tell people about it. Help us grow that crowd before January 16th uh, next year. That's when we're going to be going live. So that's going to be January 16th. So, and so as I can see here, it says 12 plus. It's kind of a meat weight. Two to four. <laughs> Two to four is there plus. A, uh, is it going to be like just a variable setup for a different number of players? Uh, or how does it affect the different number of players? Like, will the two be a separate variant or... That's what no. people... The, I mean, the two and the four player play, game play almost identical. The only difference is sort of how fast the city refreshes. Everything else is the same. Yeah. Uh, there, there will probably be a slightly different mix of the uh, proportions of the different pantry goods, but it really doesn't change the, the core of the game. There won't be different rules for it. Right. That's, that's good. That's good. So yeah. you can play with different player counts and have a great experience no matter what. All right, so we're going to see it in Kickstarter, January 16th. Go back it. Um, the reviews will exclusively do a Kickstarter preview, the rare one. You will. We're thankful for that. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to mess with this game a little bit more, play, the, play this as well, and I'm sure it's going to be an awesome game. So go check it out, January 16th. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much. Ciao, y'all. This channel is sponsored by Osprey Games. Check them out at ospreypublishing.com.